Time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The Los Angeles Times says Bank of America will refund customers $727 million for illegal credit card practices. It is part of a settlement with federal regulators. Authorities say the bank deceived nearly 3 million customers into signing up for services like credit monitoring. The bank then charged for the services. The Boston Globe looks at questions about the effectiveness of antiviral flu drugs. The government has spent more than a billion dollars stockpiling Tamiflu and Relenza, but a review of the manufacturer's clinical trials finds the drugs did not reduce hospitalizations, serious complications, or deaths related to the flu. UT, UT San Diego says an outbreak of illness on the Crown Prince's cruise ship is getting worse. The cruise line tells CBS that 117 passengers and crew are now sick. That's up from 83 yesterday. They have been isolated in their cabins. It is believed that they have norovirus. The ship returns to Los Angeles Saturday. And the Albuquerque Journal looks at the crash of a medical helicopter. The cop chopper was taking off from the University of New Mexico Hospital. There were three crew members on board, but no patients. Witnesses say the helicopter wobbled as it began to lift off, then slammed back into the roof. Luckily, there were no serious injuries. And according to the Las Vegas Sun, Nevada's governor says a federal cattle roundup has created an atmosphere of intimidation. The Bureau of Land Management is rounding up the cattle. A ranch and his family have protested and clashed with federal agents who block roads in the area. The rancher claims a long-standing right to graze his herd. The government says he should pay for that right.